Hello, uh, my name is uh, Mona Lisa Das. Today I'll be presenting my project for the course EEN 6825. My project is online handwriting cognition using chain codes. Uh, now, handwriting it, it, recognition is a subject of immense importance as it digitizes the art of communication, which is obviously indispensable for the growth of any civilization. Now, handwriting cognition is mostly of two types, online and offline. Online handwriting recognition means that the recognition process takes place as the writer writes the character, so it's a more dynamic system. In offline uh, handwriting recognition, however, the recognition occurs much after the writing process because usually in offline the recognition is done for scanned images using optical character recognition. Uh, for my project, I have selected the online method because it takes into account the order of strokes, the number of connected strokes, speed of writing, etc. for word processing. Um, for online handwriting recognition, we need to keep a few points in mind. In this method, segmentation is very important. And the first level of segmentation is word isolation, line detection, etc. Now, let us come to the uh, understanding of Freeman chain code. Freeman chain codes, originally pioneered by Herbert Freeman, was originally implemented for the compression of data compression of line drawings and planar data curves. It is based on the principles of quantization. Now, what is quantization? Quantization is encoding of line segments using tracing algorithms following segmentation. Quantization can be done using the grid intersection quantization method, uh, where while tracing a curved path, a grid structure is imposed on the image and the line segments are represented in terms of xy coordinates in space and defined by the MTNT, where M and N are integers and T is a separation between adjacent grid lines. For convenience, let us take T as a scalar factor and the nodes uh, to be given simply by M and N coordinates. Now, the grid intersection uh, quantization method provides advantage that allows the data nodes to be at the diagonally opposite corners of a grid. In this method, the curves are traced end to end and the nodes are selected according to the following rule. Where T and M are given by this expression, N is selected to satisfy this condition. Where T and N are given by this expression, M is uh, selected to satisfy this condition. Uh, thus, we can see that uh, we have a representation of the grid intersection quantization technique. This is the path to be traced and this is the imposed grid. Uh, next, uh, let us understand how quantization scheme is encoded. In quantization scheme, we can see that each consecutive data node will coincide with one of the eight grid nodes that surround the adjustment or previous data node, as we can see here. Representing these grid nodes in a counterclockwise fashion starting from the x-axis and from 0 to 7, it is possible to represent the line drawings in terms of octal digits where each octal digit will be corresponding to each directed line segment. So using this scheme, each line segment can be defined using chains in an 8-connected mode that will follow the directional scheme given here. As we can see, there are 8 directions here. Now let us come to the implementation part of our project. For the implementation of this project, I have selected the alphabet 0 to 9. The first step is to compute the boundary of each symbol using a simple algorithm on MATLAB, which is based on the direction of traced path of the contour, and it outputs the coordinates of each segment as matrix of n into 2, that is, it gives n coordinates for each boundary. As we can see here, this is my line drawing of the digit 2 and this are the coordinates which have been obtained using uh, the code on uh, MATLAB. Now come, let us come to the implementation part of the Freeman chain code. Uh, for As we can see for every changing direction in the path um, of the next pixel with respect to the current pixel, the values of dx and dy can be given by this coding scheme. And this is obtained from the direction to code directional scheme as discussed earlier over here. Um, now the delta x and the delta y are computed by circular shifts of the coordinate arrays by one element. And the dx dy pairs are converted into scalar index matrices of base 3 and in accordance with this expression. Next, the chain code is obtained by using this mapping array coding scheme. Um, 
now let us come to the implementation result part of my project so first I have drawn the two on paint and I've captured the process of drawing of two using a easy video capture v1.3 tool next I've split the video into a sequence of images using the virtual dub 1.8.8 tool this is the uh, stages of the writing of two now running the Freeman chain code, I have obtained the Freeman chain code for uh, the entire process of writing of two as this. Now let me give you a brief demo for the entire project. Uh, here I have the code for the boundary tracing and I have uh, input a particular stage of the drawing of two. Let me run this. So here I have obtained the boundary coordinates for that particular stage of the writing of two. I will input these uh, coordinates into my Freeman chain code and I will call on the Freeman chain code in this uh, file. Uh, as you can see, I've input the coordinates here and I've called on the uh, Freeman chain code function and I'll just run this. And as you can see, I have obtained the Freeman chain code uh, using this program. Now, let me get back to uh, the presentation. Uh, now, let us discuss a little bit about the potential of Freeman chain code. Uh, the Freeman chain code is widely used for in image processing for noise removal, slant angle correction, and smoothing. Now, noise is often introduced by scanning devices and transmission media, especially in online handwriting cognition systems. In chain coded contours, the size of each connected components are measured, and any contour segment which has a size smaller than the average stroke, width, or suffer from any odd shapes can be easily programmed to be removed. Now, slant angle is given by the starting and the ending points of a coordinates of every symbol and the global slant is given by the average of all slant, slant angles of every line segment. The slant is extracted and corrected by assigning weighted values to the angles of the line segments with respect to a vertical direction and this can be widely used for pre-processing. Smoothing is often done uh, using chain coded line segments by eliminating any ambiguity regarding the slant of the next segment in comparison to the, next, uh, to the previous uh, segment. Uh, and we've already discussed the contribution of Freeman chain codes to the purposes of segmentation and feature extraction. And interpolation and normalization can be done either using the Markov model or uh, the elastic uh, matching uh, method. Uh, now let us discuss a little bit about the recent work that has been done using chain codes. Um, First, we have the contour histograms. Uh, now, the contour histogram method using chain codes uh, helps us not only encode individual segments of character, but also compute the differences between each traced path segment. Next, we have the scanning n-tuple uh, classifier, which utilizes the Freeman chain codes to specify a one-dimensional representation of the characters and then defines relative offsets between its input point and then scans over the set of 1D representation of the character image. Next, we have the generalized chain codes, uh, where the eight connected chain codes have been extended to the use of eight M directional chain codes, where M may be any positive integer, uh, usually not exceeding 10, to accommodate more number of sizes of contours. The normalized uh, generalized chain code is another version of the uh, GCC, where which does not require any pre-assignment of fixed ring size in the ringed grid used for the GCC, which obviously reduces the complexity to some extent. Uh, now let us discuss advantages of online handwriting recognition using Freeman chain coding. Firstly, as we've already discussed, this method is extremely dynamic and temporal uh, in terms of the data capture. Uh, additionally, it gives us information about the strokes, the number of strokes, direction, etc. It is highly interactive and adapt uh, adaptable uh, because uh, when a user sees some errors in character recognition, it is considerably easy and really fast to alter the stored data regarding the particular character in order to improve the recognition uh, process. Finally, I will conclude uh, by saying that this algorithm is simple enough to be implemented on various platforms and can be easily clubbed with various interpolation and recognition techniques. Uh, 
Um, the Freeman chain code is definitely the most widely adopted and freely adopted method for online handwriting recognition. These are my references. Thank you.